Hi, I'm Nicholas Lasada. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Fiat 124 Spider. So, you might have noticed this is a little bit of a different kind of video. And that's only because I kind of was thinking of what to do and what kind of video to make. And I used to have a Fiat, and I kind of just thought it would be cool to make a little video about it because I do think it's a very, very cool car. Start off. You have Fiat headquarters, of course, and you see Fiat wanting to reintroduce the 124. When the 124 was originally made in the 70s in America, it was very, very popular, and it was a great seller for Fiat. Unfortunately, when they reintroduced it, it didn't really come up to exactly what it was before. That being said, it was still introduced. The Fiat was actually created in partner with Mazda, when they reintroduced their own Miata. And so you see the Miata and the Fiat have the exact same chassis, not the same engine, but exact same chassis, interior, and overall ride feel. That being said, they do have different engines, and from factory, the Fiat comes with a turbocharged four-cylinder, which is a classic Fiat engine, which is featured in the Abarth. The engine is a little more peppy than the Mazda, and a lot of people like it because it's a lot more tunable than the Mazda engine because obviously with a turbocharged engine, you can make more easy, quick mods to bump up that power a lot more. On the contrary, in the Mazda's naturally aspirated engine, it's a little bit harder to get all the different things to pump out more power in that Fiat. You could just slap a big turbo on there, and you have an extra 50 horsepower pushing you up to over 200. So, what are the specs for this engine? Well, depending on the model, you get that there is a very small difference. In the regular engine, the I believe it's the Lusso and the Classica, you have 180 horsepower and around a similar number of foot-pounds of torque, not exact number. But in the Abarth, you get a really nice exhaust that increases the horsepower by a whopping four. You end up with 184 horsepower and as I said, a similar foot pounds of torque, and it does not change to the Abarth model. Not only does the Abarth give you that extra four horsepower, the Abarth actually gives you a lot of really cool features that you don't see in the regular versions. Now, in the Abarth, you have, for example, Bilstein shocks and adjustable suspension and the sport mode, which, more surprisingly, does actually make a difference in driving feel. You put it in sport mode and doesn't really change anything about the engine, but it does change your throttle response, making the car feel a lot peppier. Over the Miata, which I believe is a little bit, like, uh, maybe half a second faster than the Fiat 260, the Fiat feels a lot more peppy with the turbo. The power really kicks in a lot faster, as in the Miata, you have to really get to those high RPM ranges before you start seeing significant power come out of it. And on the contrary, the turbo is a lot more peppy. This car makes for a more pleasurable driving experience in the city. Also, a lot of people say that the Fiat is a better looking car than the Miata, and I would have to agree with that. The new Miata, the MX-5, is a little too round for my taste, and I'm, I'm more of a fan of the original pop-ups and all that. But the Fiat has a much longer look with a long hood. You see the the dual hood bumps from the original dual cam look of the original Fiat 124 because of its famous dual cam engine. But of course, the engine in the new car is not dual cam. It's a single cam turbo four. This creates a situation where it's just for looks and it's made to kind of look like the original car. Um, it also has a longer trunk, longer hood, as I said, leading to a car that looks a lot longer. Even though it's actually uh, just about the same length, only about an inch longer, it also has quad exhaust, which is pretty impressive for a car, and the car actually sounds really good for what it is. I mean, obviously, it's just a Fiat 4-cylinder, so the fact that it sounds as good as it does, very surprising. That being said, the Fiat is a great car, and I would recommend it to anyone who's looking for a two-seat roadster, and it was within a small price range. I hope you enjoy the video today. I know it's a little different, but thank you for watching.